Well, I went to this prayer meeting for a friend of mine who was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and we were told by the leader that in order for her to be healed, every single person in the room had to believe with all their heart that this would happen. And I can remember feeling conflict inside myself. I wanted it with all my heart, but I didn't know what God was going to do. But nevertheless, I prayed earnestly with the group. And then my friend died soon after. And I often wonder, what do people do with that kind of faith? When you believe that God is going to answer your prayer and then He doesn't, what happens to your relationship with God after that? I wrestle with unanswered prayer and have wrestled. And it has led me on a journey, which is the premise of this book, to what I believe is a deeper faith because my faith no longer rests on my answers being what I needed them to be. But in fact, I trust that God sometimes in his unanswered prayers can give us his greatest answers. I tell a lot of stories in the book of people who have lived lives different than they planned. One man who's walking with his wife through stage four ovarian cancer Another friend who married a man who was a youth pastor who she later discovered was a sex abuser and how that brokenness was weaved into her journey of becoming a youth pastor and being an agent of healing where she never could have. So these stories are not tragic stories. They're stories of hope, but they're all stories that they didn't plan to live. And my hope is that in reading these stories, as well as some of the stories from the Bible, that you'll be inspired to live your story differently. To know that you're here for a bigger purpose than just you. And God wants you to live a bigger life.